Hello, I'm Good. Joe Lord, and I'm with Cleveland County EMS, and I'm here to discuss uh, one of our trailers we have, which is called Incident Command Support. It is for the community here in Cleveland County for support on major incidences, whether it be a fire incident, a rescue operation, or even if we're out looking for a lost child. Cleveland County has been involved for about nine to ten years, since about 2000, um, doing incident support, and we do a lot of things with the NIMS and incident management teams. As we have the ability to display large maps, topo maps, electronically, we can put them out in the field, laminate them and everything. We also have the large charts that they use for incident command as far as telling what this one here is a 215, um, what our operation or planning is going to be. So we have a lot of paperwork and stuff that's also kept here with the incident management team. All the incident management forms, large computers, small computers, small printers, laptops, desks, anything that you would find in a normal office, we're going to have here. And it is all self-sufficient. This truck comes with its own, this trailer comes with its own generator. Uh, so our power, air conditioning, lights, everything else, that's all supplied by this trailer. All by put chairs and tables in here. It's pretty much a wide open alley for you to actually turn it into a war room if you want. We've got the walls. They're all writable. Array dry erase markers. They're also magnetic. So I can put magnets up and make those as we fly down the road. All fluorescent lights, again, it's self-sufficient. Uh, the silver side over here for electricity, that's just raw power coming from the generator. The white sides are all going through an, uh, a battery backup so that we don't spike any computers. And then we have telephone jacks and data jacks. Four generators that we have. Uh, all four generators are identical. So if we have a problem with one, we can bring another one right into the site and just operate off of it. Each one of these generators will pull one to two trailers themselves. Um, and each one of these cabinets on the top side, I do have um, televisions that are hooked up, and then we also have DVDs and VCRs for them. And then most of our uh, ground equipment is kept inside the other lower cabinets as far as all our drop cords and things like that that we need to All right, this is our newest additional trailer to our fleet. Um, what it's done is made it a lot more mobile for the lumber that we carry for collapse structure. All of our collapse structure lumber that is required by the state for heavy collapse structure is on this trailer. The pieces and everything are already cut, they're already banded together, and it makes it a lot more mobile for us as far as lumber. So if we ever have a collapse structure where we need the lumber and everything, this is what the, everybody uses for their classrooms. So this will be the identical size wood that they're used to using, and we'll be able to bring it right out to the scene as quickly as they need it. And that's I'm Chris Poston, I'm with the Cleveland County USAR team. I'm over the structure collapse and the trench team. And inside this trailer is what we use to um, assist us in those rescues. We're now inside the structure collapse trailer. In this trailer we carry a, a myriad of um, equipment to perform structure collapse rescues. Here we have the low pressure airbags, we have high pressure airbags, we have over here we have a jackhammer, up here we have the um, airshore struts for shoring, on this trailer we also have concrete saws of different types. We also have another concrete saw down here. We also can perform confined space rescue out of this trailer. It has fresh air blowers. We have fresh air blowers. We have generators. The trailer we're in now is a trench collapse trailer. It carries eight what's called fin form boards which is used to shore the um, trenches during a trench collapse. It also carries the um, shores to hold the the boards back. We also carry basic medical equipment on it and we can um, stay on scene a long time. We carry uh, survival equipment, MREs, medical equipment, anything else that you would need. My name is Carl Robs. I'm with Cleveland County EMS. I'm a paramedic. I've been working with the county 16 years. Uh, I'm over our mass casualty incident trailer and we're going to show you around in a little bit. Um, Mass casualty, of course, you know, is uh, where you have numerous patients. Uh, say, for instance, at a, at a football game here at the high school, say uh, we have a bleacher collapse or something like that. We're going to have numerous injuries, uh, and they're going to need a lot of support. And that's what this trailer is for, is to be able to uh, supply that support. It's fully self-contained. We have a generator. It'll run our lights and our air conditioning. And uh, we have 75 backboards. Um, and everything you know to go along with it. We have the straps, the head blocks, etc. You know, so we got 75 spinal patients that we can deal with right here. As I said before, we have uh, to go along with the backboards. We have the number of C collars we need. Uh, we have head blocks here in this uh, container. Uh, 
and this one also, and we have our backboard straps here. And of course, as you know, like in any kind of incident, you know, you want to be organized. So here we have uh, our equipment to set up triage system. You know, best based on the color code system. We also have this uh, several of these. What it is, is where you can set up a line, an O2 line coming off a cascade tank, over, like we're going to sit over here in this corner, and uh, you can set it up. You can actually hook your oxygen mass tubing to this and run it to several patients. This one right here was support eight. You can link these in sequence and uh, set up a little O2 area in your hospital. Uh, this is a disposable ventilator. It will ventilate a patient that is not breathing on his own. Over here on this side here, of course, there's nothing there, but we're going to place our O2 system here. Uh, it's going to be like a cascade system. Uh, we're going to have a rack built for the, the small cylinder bottles, and we're going to have regulators on those bottles so they'll be quick, quickly accessed. Exercise and events. We started attending events here with Cleveland County. Uh, 1996 was the first one that Cleveland County went out on, and that was the Summer Olympics. Uh, we sent somewhere around 10 to 15 people for a couple of weeks. Uh, since then, twice a year, we do search and rescue exercises. Uh, in 2004, we did the back-to-back -back hurricanes and flooding up in western North Carolina. We drove quarterly with the North Carolina Heart Association, which is Hilo Aquatic Rescue Team, and we work as their all-hazard incident management team. We've been to the 2008 Hyde fires that they had out on the East Coast. And just in the past 30 days for drills, uh, the MDMS um, Charlotte drill that they had, Bill Moore SAR exercise we just did last weekend, Tabletop Western North Carolina Health Department for an outbreak, and then we just recently completed a manhunt down in number one township this week. Anyone that's interested can join. Um, our website is ccncems.com or apply at www.servenc.org. Sign up as Cleveland County SMAT 3. Applications for the special teams are located in the back if you're interested in becoming a local member. Uh, we'll have all the stuff on the back tables, including all of the um, reviews of the trailers and everything we have today available, um, so that you can look and see what kind of resources are available to you from Cleveland County. And I appreciate it.